Metro sets for between 150 Naira and 162 Naira across filling stations nationwide with the price ban set when crude oil sold for about $40 per barrel in November 2020. However, the Minister of State Petroleum Resources Chief Timmy Pre Silva at the launch of the Nigerian Upstream Cost Optimization Program in Abuja yesterday said Nigerians should brace up for higher fuel price. The AUCOP launch was to find ways of reducing the cost of crude oil production and processing, and processing officials said. Siva also said with no provision of subsidy in the 2021 budget, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation NMPC couldn't continue to bear the cost of under recovery. Since we are optimizing everything, NMPC needs to also think about the optimization of product cost because as we all know, oil prices are where they are today, $60 per barrel. As desirable as this is, this has serious consequences as well on product prices. As a country, let us take the benefit of the higher crude oil prices and I hope we will also be ready to take a little pain on the side of higher product prices, he said. He said we need to optimize our unit cost of production in order to sustain our way of doing business. The group managing director of NMPC Malam Mele Kolo Yari said the corporation was leveraging working to reduce oil production costs. It is in our informed interest to optimize on our cost of production. The realities of energy transition and investor choices are very much clear to us. There is nowhere in this world where a less cost efficient operator can survive today. Petrol freight rate may reach 9.11 per liter. Meanwhile, the federal government has commenced discussions with representatives of the organized labor on how to raise the freight rates of the premium motor spirits petrol from 7 naira 51 cobo per liter to 9 naira per liter 9 naira 11 cobo per liter the plan will amount to 21 naira 21.30 percent hike in freight that is a petroleum products pricing regulatory agency pppra component of the total cost of the petrol in a virtual message at the 21st annual general meeting of the National Association of Road Transport Owners, heard recently, the Executive Secretary of the Petroleum Equalization Management Board, Alaji Ahmed Boboy, said the agency was waiting for the federal government's approval, approval before it would begin the implementation of the new freight rate of 9 Naira 11 Kobo per liter. NMPC boss Kayari also confirmed that at the event, noting that it would come after deliberations with the organized labor are uh, concluded. The NATO national president, Alaji Yusuf Lawa Uthman, urged the government to implement the new 9 Naira 11 cover freight to rate, freight rates to enable the transport owners improve their services and increase the wages of their staff, including the truck drivers. Reactions tray plan for a price hike. More reactions have trade. They announced as as some Abuja residents lamented the impl impending increase in price of petrol, saying it would compound the already high cost of living in the country. The chief executive officer of an Abuja-based clothing outlet, Styward Limited, Mr. Peter F. Young, said for every time the federal government adjusted the price of petrol, hoppers, traders also increased prices of their commodities due to rise in transportation and production costs. If they increase fair price, we are the one to continue suffering. Everything will increase in price, F. Young said. A civil servant in Abuja, Usman Dankaka, said many civil servants will be affected by further increase in petrol price. In Lagos, Mrs. Kende Oni, a Lagos-based air stylist, rejected the proposed move to further jack up the price of petroleum, saying it will further deepen the woes of operators. 
We also heard about the plan that petrol might increase again, but this is not going to be funny. What this means that we would be spending more fueling my generator. Things are already hard. Why are we compounding things for us? A frozen food seller at Okwebi area of Lagos State, Mrs. Michael Abiodun said she already spent 4,500 naira daily to keep her products refrigerated, lamented, lamenting that residents and business owners have been experiencing blackouts in the area for weeks. A petroleum marketer, Mr. Abdul Rashid Olakwade, said independent marketers have incurred heavy losses in recent times over the level of speculations, speculations in the system. We had two increments recently with no profit margins to marketers. We could be buying at 5 naira today and the following day, the depot will say it is now 10 naira, uh, 10 billion naira, and that has been the case, he added. Commenting the Director General of the Lagos Chamber Commerce and Industry, Dr. Muda Yusu, said there was a need for the deregulation policy to avoid bringing back the petroleum of the the problem of petroleum subsidy will resurface with all the challenges of corruption, diversion of petroleum products to neighboring countries, and pressure on government finances. The situation presents a very delicate balance between economic and commercial considerations on one hand and the social and welfare considerations on the other hand. The challenges before policy makers is to locate the balance. The solution, according to LCCI boss, lies on how fast Nigeria is able to ensure a domestic refinery of petroleum products, saying this is a very critical factor in ensuring the sustainability uh, of the deregulation policy. However, the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, IPMAN, said it's, it's any increase, if any increase in the fuel pump price and executive member of the association also said our members have been suffering over unavailability of forests to source for products abroad the increase will mean that some of us will get some profits the national president ipma chinedu okonkwo neither responded to messages sent by one of our reporters nor answered the several phone calls okay so guys they will be telling you to brace up for the hard time it has always been it has always been when they were increasing a uh, what is it called this uh yes that when they recently increased the fuel price and the electricity tariff oh they told they told us that don't worry everything will be fine there's a way they will cushion the effect uh this and that you know in the long run it will be fine but see what they are doing again <laughs> we never see anything no mm, now they start nigeria will still gather and shut apc come 2023 what kind of country with, with wicked leader and foolish citizens? This APC government is only full of bad news. You nailed this. The problem is not bad leadership or APC, but blind, foolish sentiment citizens. From 2015 to 2019 was long enough to know what the present government is the most inefficient. The PDP, are they, are they better? Fair increase in this serious hardship again. Who did we offend in this country? that has refused to forgive us do our leaders really know what people are facing for where they don't know now all of the problem that you are going through they don't go through it because you have already worked for them they are only just to be dishing it just to be dishing it out for them and take it and they don't care they don't care they don't know whether they need to pay they don't bother about paying their students school fees they don't think about their feeding they don't think about anywhere they want to go into this world they have everything you have already worked for them so you, you are talking about electricity. They don't buy for it. Mm -mm. Everything has been paid for. So they wouldn't know. So guys, let's hear your opinion on this.